let's take a look at the concept of looking for fit. But what do we need to look for in the selection process in order to put the right person in the right job? We need to attempt to assess three things, personality job fit, ability job fit, and person organization fit. Our personality defines to a great extent who we are and how we act and react in certain situations. Some of us are strongly extroverted and enjoy working the crowd in a social setting, while others may be fairly introverted and feel extremely uncomfortable in such an environment. Some of us desire to try new things constantly, while others are more comfortable with things that they know well. There are many traits that help define our personalities, but the fact remains that each of us is different. You have to make an attempt to identify personality types and put them in positions that will be enhanced by their particular personality traits. This is called personality job fit. So if we need to hire an employee who will have to work the crowd in a sales job for our organization, would you want to hire someone who's very uncomfortable talking and relating to strangers? If we did hire that person, is it likely that the employee would succeed or fail in the position? Obviously, it's more likely that such a person would fail in that type of environment, so one of the things we try to determine in the selection process is personality job fit. In addition to personality job fit, we want to determine ability job fit. Every individual has a certain set of physical and intellectual skills, and no two people are exactly alike. Some people are very capable at working with computers, while others are more capable at a physical type environment. Still others may be able to successfully perform both physical and computer-based tasks, but they may have differences in how they analyze quantitative information as an example. Each of us is more skilled at some things than others. Managers have to analyze the skill set and abilities of each subordinate or new hire to understand that person's individual limitations and their abilities. Finally, we have to be aware of person organization fit when deciding on which candidate to hire. There are plenty of potential employees out there that have the required skills to do the jobs that we need them to do, and they may even have the right types of personality to be comfortable in that job. However, they might not fit well with the organization itself. Person organization fit deals with the cultural and structural characteristics of the organization and how well the candidate will fit within that structure and culture. If a candidate works best in a decentralized organization with strong individual reward systems, and if we're hiring people to work in a tightly controlled and centralized team-based division, then it's unlikely that the candidate will be able or willing to conform to the requirements of the organization's structure and culture. Most managers will rank cultural fit as the most important item in a job interview, even above analytical thinking. There's one caveat to the concept of fit. We're not looking to hire people who are just like us. Research consistently shows the value of diversity in a business setting, so we don't want to hire all of the same types of person.